and took over my life. I started dealing, started stealing from my family, lying. I lost my apartment. Um, I went to jail. I had my, my own grandmother pressed charges against me. For some West Virginians, they can relate to Altizer's experience with addiction. And now Congressman Evan Jenkins is taking further action to help those who are addicted. We wanted to bring together law enforcement, recovery, treatment, the federal uh, representatives together in one room to talk about this epidemic of all epidemics, the fentanyl crisis. On Thursday, Representative Jenkins visited the recovery point a nonprofit organization that offers recovery services to men and women who are struggling with any type of substance abuse. During that visit, Jenkins held a roundtable discussion addressing the crisis that has quickly led to heroin, something that Altizer says she was addicted to. When you're that hopeless, like you could put a gun to my head and I'd say do it. You know, like nothing, nothing helps. I'd go to treatment, I'd dry out, or I'd leave AMA. I've never been in a treatment center this long. Um, I was, I was in jail in uh, Virginia for six months. Went to a halfway house after his relapse. I mean, I've never actually been in a program that really makes you work on yourself. October 28th will mark 10 months of being sober for Altizer, and she says she is hopeful that the steps that Representative Jenkins plans on taking will prevent this deadly epidemic. We need to be looking at whether or not through the designation of a national emergency, which the president suggested we be made, and I'm hoping he will make it uh, sooner rather than later, maybe we've got the possibility of addressing uh, the cost of these antidotes that literally save lives, the naloxone. In Charleston, I'm Ashley Cafaro reporting for Newswatch.